We read this in Matthew's account of Jesus' death on that first Good Friday. At noon the sky turned dark and stayed that way until three o'clock. Then about that time Jesus shouts, My God, my God, why have you deserted me? Some of the people standing there heard Jesus and said, He's calling for Elijah. One of them at once ran and grabbed a sponge. He soaked it in wine and then put it on a stick and held it up to Jesus. Others said, wait, let's see if Elijah will come and save him. Once again, Jesus shouted and then he died. At once the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and rocks split apart. Graves opened and many of God's people were raised to life. Then after Jesus had risen to life, they came out of their graves and went into the holy city where they were seen by many people. The officer and the soldier guarding Jesus felt the earthquake and saw everything else that happened. They were frightened and said, this man really was God's son. Matthew 27, 45 to 54. A curtain torn, rocks splitting, an earthquake, darkness during the day. Matthew focuses on these hugely dramatic details. Matthew wants to make sure that we understand that from the moment that Jesus dies, everything has changed. It's hard to take it all in. There's a mystery here about the open graves and people being raised to life, but there is a sense of resurrection already. After previously mocking Jesus with the title Son of God, the soldier's confession restores this title for Jesus back to its proper place. Today is Good Friday. And as a child, I remember struggling to understand why we call this day when Jesus dies good. I remember grilling my parents about this. And the Matthew account gives us some clues. It's good because as the curtain torn shows, because of Jesus' death, we can receive the forgiveness of sins, freedom from spiritual death and an ongoing everlasting relationship with our Father God. It's also good because resurrection is coming. God is in the business of turning mourning into dancing, beauty out of ashes, daytime from the night and resurrection from death. I pray you will know today in whatever circumstances you find yourself in that Sunday is coming. That is why we call this day good. 1 Peter 1 verses 3 to 5 reminds us of this, this, of this. It says this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is unperishable, undefined and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. So on this Good Friday, let us pray. Lord, this day is a strange day as we remember your death, but thank you that you are not absent from this day Forgive me for when I ignore your presence. And thank you, Lord, you are still present in every moment, every breath, every step. Here I am, sitting, waiting, listening, knowing you are here as the day begins, just as you are when it ends and at all points in between. 